A new piece in the Wall Street Journal criticizes the Fed's corporate debt relief this year, saying most companies benefiting from the Fed's bond buying didn't need the cash to begin with and didn't spend it well either, going as far to say as the uh, Fed's corporate credit facility should be left to die. For more, I'm joined by one of the authors behind this piece. Sheila Baer ran the FDIC during the financial crisis and is now a director at the Volcker Alliance. Uh, Sheila, it's great to have you back. And Thanks. I think a lot of people would say they're wary of the Fed doing this, you know, as a normal matter of business going forward, but that it would have made sense in response to the pandemic. Why do you disagree? Well, I was actually initially supportive, and uh, I assumed their focus would be on the primary credit market and how allowing large companies who are impacted by the pandemic access credit markets to continue operations. That's not really what happened. The, the bulk of the intervention was in the secondary market. It was really more of a, a bailout of, of, of investors and underwriters and a boondoggle for a lot of uh, companies issuing a, a lot of debt, which they probably didn't need. And we've got unprecedented levels of, of, of corporate leverage now. So it, it doesn't. The original idea was to support these companies as employers to continue operations. But that's really not what happened. The Fed didn't put any strings uh, on any conditions on this assistance. Uh, there were massive, have been massive layoffs and a lot of the companies benefiting from it, even while some of them are paying dividends. Uh, there were no restrictions on shareholder distributions or using this money for uh, executive compensation as well. So, no, I, I don't think, I don't see the evidence there that it really trickled down to Main Street. It was a huge boon uh, to corporate debt markets and, uh, and it also has resulted in a lot of misallocation of capital, I think. The these low interest rates had already highly favored large companies over small companies, growth companies over value companies. That was just intensified uh, with the announcement of these unprecedented mm -hmm. facilities. So I know they were well-intentioned. Initially, it sounded like a good idea, but it did not work out that way. And yes, they should be allowed to die. I wonder if part of the issue is that we're looking too closely uh, at it here, because most of the people who have cited the importance of the, the, the corporate bond buying are doing so as it relates to the entire recovery. I mean, a lot of people really pin the whole recovery to that moment when the Fed said, we're going to go beyond just the usual toolkit to this additional measure, um, because it was really a psychological tell to everybody that we'll do whatever it takes, you know, the famous Mario Draghi yeah. line. So, you know, when you, you know, does it miss the forest for the trees here? Yeah. Well, I, it, certainly Wall Street celebrated it. it. It was great for the corporate debt markets. I don't, I don't have any... Uh, quibble with that, but is that what we want to use monetary policy for, right? So I think government interventions, whether through monetary authorities or fiscal authorities, should be geared towards Main Street and labor markets and helping the people who can't help themselves. So yeah, it was a, it was a huge boon uh, to Wall Street and, uh, and widely celebrated, I'm sure. And again, initially, it seemed like a good idea, but yeah, I think there's real job growth. That would be different, but we're seeing, you know, a week at employment report again today, there is this huge disconnect between Wall Street and Main Street. And the overarching problem is we keep relying on monetary policy to lead recovery. And when we get into these difficult times, monetary authorities just simply are not well equipped to get the help to Main Street yeah. that has to come through fiscal intervention. And yes, we are distorting capital allocation significantly in the process. Uh, people worry about consolidation, big companies getting even bigger. Yes, but again, a lot of that is being fed by you know, quantitative easing into corporate debt purchases. So I do think the Fed, well-intentioned, stand down, back off. Uh, corporate America doesn't need any more help from you. <laughs> and I'm hoping Janet Yellen and Mr. <laughs> Biden's new economic team will be very focused on Main Street when they come into office. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.